Back on our travels, Cal. Only going down to Heathrow. It's a bit of a mystery tour. They'll know where we're going by the thumbnail. Actually, it really is. It's just British Airways. We've always gone with, we went with Virgin the last few times, haven't we? So we went with Virgin last time we went to, what did we go to? Barbados. Barbados. And it wasn't good flight the Virgin. Who did we fly with? It's down to Curacao. Uh, KLM. Yes, we did KLM. KLM yeah, you can't meet KLM. The other one that's really, really good is Schlanker Airlines that we went with. Obviously. KLM's excellent. KLM's really, really good. But I, I'm impressed with British Airways this time. So why are you um, impressed? What's, what's they changed? Really yeah, happy. look. They've, okay, they've got, great got a little people. charger here, so you can charge yeah. your phone. This up. And any gamers out there that like Xbox or PSP, you can game on here as well. Obviously not yeah. into yeah. your um, whatever it is. And you can send messages, can't you, on the, yeah. the two other seats? Yeah, you can play within. The I've sent five messages, but I'm stuck with you. What's this form you're filling out now, Kel? I don't know. Just something that they give you. See so if you're bringing in anything into the country. Fast tracks in, in 10 minutes. Everybody else is hitting 50. Amazing service. <coughs> all, all nice chaos, pal. So we've just gone past the uh, National Stadium. <laughs> Larry, our driver, is an expert. This is his first day on the taxis, but he says he knows the way. This is our room, um, it's quite airy, uh, got a lovely bed, really big, 
and the pillows of some of the comfortless pillows I've had in a hotel room since probably being in Germany, in Munich. They are fab fabulous. You find the bed comfy, Cal? Yeah. Good hanging space there for ladies, for the dresses. And um, shower, fab fabulous, powerful, nice and warm. And we also place there for what? What's your complaint about makeup or doing your hair? There's not a socket by a mirror or something. Yeah, that's always so yeah, so sort that out, hoteliers. So this is where we sat last night. It's a small balcony, but nice. And um, okay, the, the pool water isn't blue like I like to see, but it's uh, well looked after. Next door, you might see on the map, is the shopping um, district, but it's absolutely no issues whatsoever. Don't even notice it's there. So this is the Coco Palm Hotel. Look at her. Never happier. <laughs> well, we're just going for breakfast here at the Coco Palm. Um, and if you think of booking here, and have a look to see what we get. We have beans, I'll oh, take the spoon out. And then we have bacon and pork sausage. Uh, that's a salt fish. And some seasoned potatoes. Pancakes. And finally, roast bakes. They are beautiful with the beans. Oh, look at Sean with that work there. <laughs> Top man. Can I have a little bit of cheese? Yeah, just a little bit. I like the cheese. She's such a fussbot. I'm not a fussbot. Mm -hmm. That's the man. Brilliant. That looks lovely. Okay. It's so nice. What? Nice. So we've just come outside the hotel. Um, this is the beach road, all the hotels and bars, uh, quite lively in the evening, though we could do with some more customers, definitely. Um, this way takes you up, we're really walking around the outside edge of the hotel as I can show you on the map now. Right, if you're coming from England and you enjoy your sports, this place does all the football. All your premiership matches, your cricket, um, Kiwis. And uh, well, uh, last night was our first night, and we walked past it, and it had a great vibe. So definitely look at this place for your football. So we've just walked around that corner. Here's the main shopping arcade in Rugby Bay. It has a layout here, not for us, we're on holiday, but if you like that sort of thing. So that's very interesting, Inter <laughs> that's very interesting, sponsored by the Republic of China, Taiwan. Well, we're, they're herons, yes, definitely herons. So we're going to have a little walk around the Rodney Bay area, you might be getting a villa or want to know where one or two of the restaurants are. Uh, we'll try and do a little bit of a a video. So we've got a political is issue here. This is the Embassy of China and Taiwan. So they've claimed it already. The right, anyone staying at the Beach Cross Villa Apartments? This has grabbed our attention. It's got a great location right next to the Buzz restaurant, which we've been told has got great reviews. So right next door to Buzz, we've got the Chinese Memories of Hong Kong. 
it's just opening up. A lot of people go there for takeaways as well. You've got bamboos, the barbecue joints. Alongside that. That looks ace, doesn't it? I love that bamboo look. So you walk on another 100 yards. This takes you to Jack's, the waterfront dining. We've been told excellent things about this restaurant. And it's a short walk down there. We just walked it this morning. So this is residential. So this is residential, East Caribbean village. But the, we have heard they do do some Airbnbs. The gated community with plenty of parking. Smart looking place. Again, great location if you want the nightlife. And uh, literally four minutes, five minutes. This guy the stopped beach. in the street, Chef Robbie. Apparently it's really good and really economical. But some places can be expensive here. But at this corner we will turn up to Coco Pond. That'll be our front entrance. We go straight on. Doing a left by the Ultra Lounge. We can take a bit of a shortcut actually into the hotel. Uh, that gets quite lively, Ultra Lounge. Probably the liveliest place around. Now, if you like street food, local food, Triangle here, they do uh, like a set meals. And you just order it up. It costs roughly about a five or a meal, something like that. And they're uh, very good. All home cooked. So that's Triangle. Oh, do a couple of beers there. Just a quaint little bar to chat at. You always get the sound coming from Ultra Lounge. Okay, we've got a berth, which we haven't been in, and there's Nebies, where they do the sports, and this is our entrance into the hotel. So that's about it, really. Any questions, don't forget to like and subscribe if you need any details, and uh, we'll pick up with you soon. Bee Gees. No, I'm not even. I'm in the Honey Bee Bar, drinking Bahama Mama. How do you say, Gaffer? <laughs>